Your teacher might have you participate in an online discussion through Canvas. And when you're looking at the discussion in Canvas, you are going to see some instructions. Maybe it might have a prompt, maybe it might have a reading or something for you to do first before you engage in the discussion. And you might also see some videos that have instructions on how to maybe add specific things to your discussion and um, maybe instructions on how to respond to feedback or respond to different things that people um, share in the discussion. So how to participate first is underneath the discussion, you're going to see the reply box. If I click on reply, it opens up a text editor box where you can type in an answer. There are different formatting tools that you can use, like changing the color, adding hyperlinks to documents or to websites. And you can also add video. So maybe your teacher wants you to have a video discussion. To do that, you're going to click on this icon that kind of looks like the YouTube icon without any color. And when you're here, it's going to give you the option to record media. So right now it's showing a video, but it's not actually recording. Um, I can choose mic and choose which microphone I want to use. I can click on webcam. And what webcam allows me to do is choose to use my camera that I have on my computer, if you have an external camera, or also to have no video. So if your teacher just wants you to talk and not have a video, you can choose no video. And that just makes it so that it's a recording. I'm going to turn my webcam back on, and then I'm going to click Start Recording. Oh, actually, before I do that, I just want to show you, you can upload media. So maybe you recorded with your phone some video, you can then send that to your computer and you can select a video file to upload. So maybe you're recording like a stop motion video that you're making for class and you want to share that, you can do it that way. But I'm going to go back to record and so here I am, I'm going to choose start recording. And now it's actually recording me talking to you all. And you probably want to look at your camera on your screen, not at yourself, because then you just see your, you looking down. But when you're done, you're going to click finish. And I can watch it before I submit it. And I could start over if I want to restart. And then you could title it if you want to. You don't have to. And then you're going to say save. Once you press save, it kind of seems like nothing happened. It's there's no like spinny circle telling you to wait. So you have pretty much no clue that you actually press save. You just have to wait. And the longer your video, the longer time it's going to take. But I've never run into problems. It's always posted. It just takes a little while. So there we go. So now it's showing up in my discussion. Now I can have in addition to the video, I can still have some text. So I can talk or, you know, discuss, write out written things. So you could add multiple features to this. Something else that your teacher might have you do is let's say that you created a Google slideshow and they want you to um, add that in. What you can do is if you go to your Google slideshow, so I have this open right now. It's one of my Google slides. I can go to file publish to the web and then click embed and I like to choose small and then I'm going to click publish I'm going to say yes okay I am sure that I want to publish this and then it gives me this HTML code if I go back to my canvas discussion I can click up here where it says HTML editor on the top right of the kind of text box area and I can, I'm just going to put it up at the top. So I pressed enter to just give myself some space. And then I'm going to paste in that embed code. So remember, copy is control C or command C on a Mac. Paste is control V or command V on a Mac. Now I want to see what this looks like. So I'm going to click back right here where it says rich content editor. And that brings me back to the view that you're in before. And now I can see my slides embedded. And I could also see my video down at the bottom. And I am going to post my reply. So now that I've posted my reply, th this is what people can see. And they can click through my slideshow if they need to. And they can also click on my video. So if I click play, it kind of opens up bigger. 
So that was the video, but it um, opens up bigger so people can actually see it. And then what you're going to do is um, you will be able to see other people's posts as long as you're not the first person who posted. And so you'll scroll down and read through all of their posts and you can click on this reply button to reply directly to that particular post. So this reply up here underneath the instructions, this is like doing initial posts, which is what I did here. If I want to reply to a particular person, I'm going to click this reply underneath their post. And so that is what creates threaded replies. If you need to, you can go in to edit your post by clicking on the three dots and choose edit. And that will bring you back to the editing mode if you feel that you need to change anything.